Hello friends, myself Shaptapurni from Biolive. Hope all of you are doing very well. So today I am going to teach you about a very important lesson on difference between phonetics and cladistics. So before beginning, I would like to request you to kindly subscribe to my channel by pressing the bell button given below and if you find this video useful don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and if you have any doubt you may leave a comment below in the comment section you can also follow me on my social handle which are given on the screen so uh, how the same data matrix can be uh, represented differently based on phonetics and cladistics what is phenogram phenogram is the tree made based on the phonetics okay whereas cladogram is the tree uh, where branching diagram is based on the cladistics method okay so you have to remember only one point what is that phonetics is based on overall similarity what is overall similarity whereas cladistics is based on the shear derived character the shear derived character what does that mean it means that if they have given you three taxa A, B, C, those taxa which have more similarity will be clustered together based on phonetics. Okay, because phonetics is based on overall similarity. So, see here in these three taxa they have given you five characters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, what are characters and what are character states? Say if here is a character, then uh, the subdivision of that hairs, like the texture of hair, uh, it can be uh, straight, it can be wavy, it can be curly, those are like character states. Okay, so here is a character and straight, curly, wavy, those are character states. Okay, so here see that if one is the character, there are two character states, 0 and 1. If two is the character, there are two character states, 0 and 1. So, in phonetics, we just look at the characters and their character state and we try to find out how many character states are similar between two taxa. See, between A and B, how many character states are similar? 1, 2, 3 because species A and B both share character 3, 4 and 5. They both share 0 in these 3 characters. So, obviously A and B have, A and B have 3 out of 5 similarity whereas a and c have only one similarity based on the character number one both are sharing zero so c a and c have only one similarity one out of five let's say how many character states how many character are similar between uh, b and c c here only one character the second character okay so b and c has also similarity in one character so obviously based on phonetics you can clearly say that a and b have more similarity between them because they share three out of five characters so obviously a and b should be clustered together okay a and b should be clustered together and c should be here the outgroup okay because the phonetics is based on overall similarity now coming to the cladistics what have i told earlier that cladistics offers the weightage on shear derived character what is a shear derived character see when we have uh, learned about phonetics we have called about the character and character states and their similarity but obviously if one is a character there are two character states 0 and 1 and in cladistics 0 is regarded as the ancestral character or plesiomorphic character so in cladistics 0 is the ancestral or plesiomorphic character plesiomorphic character okay whereas 1 is the derived derived or apomorphic character apomorphic character okay so in cladistics we offer weightage on the shear derived character what have i told shear derived character which is also known as synapomorphy synapomorphic character so you have to find out how many synapomorphic characters are shared by these taxa? See here in taxa A and B, what are apomorphic characters? One. Okay. A and B shares no one. Whereas B, A and C also shares no one because A has all zero. But here see, B and C shares one at the character number two. So, 
one is the apomorphic character and when these one or the derived character or apomorphic character is shared by both b and c and it is known as shared derived character or synapomorphic character so based on cladistics b and c should be clustered together okay as they are sharing the shared derived characters and a should be the out group okay why a is the out group because c a has all zero that means a has all ancestral characters so obviously a will be your out group it has emerged earlier and then b and c has emerged and b and c are clustered together as they are sharing the character number 2 okay synapomorphic character so this is how phonetics and cladistic differs and how phonogram and cladogram can be different based on the same data matrix i hope this video will be useful for your examination like neat net etc and your bsc and msc courses also so i think it is wonderful it is useful so if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button given below thanks for watching and happy learning